Well, certainly an historic day here at the Colonial Life Arena as the Gamecocks introducing their 33rd head men's basketball coach, and he is with us right now, Lamont Paris, coming to Columbia by way of Chattanooga. First of all, welcome to Columbia, initial impressions of the city. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for having me here, and so it's great to be here. The city's a really good city. It's vibrant. Uh, it's a good size city, the kind that I like. You know, it's not too big and not too small, and so, uh, yeah, my first impressions have been great. The people here have been uh, incredibly welcoming and can't wait to get started. You obviously had great success in the transfer portal. I would think in this day and age, it's a lot easier to build a roster with that as opposed to maybe you know, 10, 15 years ago. Sure. I mean, roster management, sometimes you feel like a minor league baseball team sometimes. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I, it is. It can be a tool that can really help you uh, expedite the process in a lot of different ways. And so I'll continue to use that tool um, uh, as well as developing and building some high school uh, relationships and contacts and bringing in some good young talent as well. What is your message to those current players on the roster that have, you know, still kind of figuring out what to do next? Yeah, just uh, I'm looking forward to spending some time with them. And, and we talked a little bit earlier about this and just uh, so they can get a, an, an idea of who I am and what I value uh, and as a player, um, as a teammate and how they fit into that. And I think that's a, a really important. I think there has to be. Uh, a common bond between what their expectations and goals are as well as what my vision is and so um, th those that find themselves fitting that in that profile and wanting to stay that that'll be it will move forward in a, in a, a dynamic and great way and those that don't uh, I won't be angry at those guys I'll just we'll, we'll help them as much as we possibly can what will you demand above all else from your from your players um, well I mean competitive competitive spirit I think as a basketball thing I think that's one thing you can be good at basketball or you can be good at competing and you better be good at competing um, so that would be one thing and I think being a good teammate I think that's another thing you have to be a good teammate I just won't have guys on a team that guys don't like being around what do you tell your next team your first team here about what it's like to compete in the big dance I'll try to convey the message of 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 how difficult it is to get there which they've experienced some of that and uh, the level of, of achievement that they will feel and excitement and elation that they will have from playing in that tournament. It's another whole ball of wax when you're playing in that tournament. And uh, I'll try to convey that. It's hard until you get there to see it, but I, I, I will have them striving uh, and, and making the sacrifices necessary to do it. You've done your intel on this program. What stuck out for you? Uh, I think just opportunity, honestly, just uh, opportunity for growth. And uh, it's been moving in a good direction. Um, there's been some recent history, obviously, with a, with a Final Four. But I think the room for growth, I think they've made a lot of uh, uh, improvements in facilities and, and resources. And the commitment is, is, is at a high level here. So I think the, the opportunity for growth is what has really attracted me. And to compete on the Power Five level for you as a competitor who's obviously coached and played at a high level. Yeah, I, uh, it's 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 great. You know, uh, I, I enjoyed my time at Chattanooga. I did. I loved that when I was at the University of Akron. We went to the NCAA tournament there for the first time in 25 years. But uh, I like being in a conference where where, you know, there's an uh, there's an incredible amount of pressure to win, to be number one. All right. It's hard to get the NCAA tournament from anywhere. But how about if you only ha can get there by being number one, number two, good season. See you next year. How about that for pressure? And so uh, I do, uh, while, I, while I like that pressure and trying to make that happen, uh, I do like being in a league where multiple teams will be able to get to the tournament. My last question, what will fans see from a Lamont Paris coach team this year? An incredible competitive spirit. Um, they'll see the ball move, ball movement on the, op on the offensive end, aggressive players on the offensive end. Um, and, uh, I, you know, one thing that I always – took pride in was when people talked about our teams at Chattanooga, particularly in the last couple of years, it was they loved how the guys played and played together. And, uh, you know, whether we won or lost, which we won a lot, but it was how they played together. And that always sticks out to me that they're doing the right things. All right. He is Lamont Paris, the new head basketball coach here at South Carolina. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. We'll be following you and we'll send it back to you in the studio.